lovely readers. Welcome to Living the Tales with me, Priyanka. First, I would start by wishing all my lovely readers a very happy Diwali. Are you ready for today's story? So today's story is designed to encourage children to brush intelligently and at the same time to take care of our mother nature. The link to purchase the book is mentioned in the description box. So let's get started as we read together The Secret of Tooth Fairy Land, written by Dr. Felicia Yi. The Secret of Tooth Fairy Land, written by Dr. Felicia Yi, illustrated by Fadila Putri. Oh, how terrible! The North Pole has melted. Global warming has destroyed our home. Quick, pack whatever you can rescue into my big waterproof bag. Christmas is just around the corner and there is so much work to be done. This will be a terrible Christmas. We have nowhere to go, said the elves sadly. Let's not give up so easily. We can't disappoint the kids, said Santa. Suddenly, a sweet tiny voice appeared. Why don't all of you come to stay with us? Who are you, little one? I'm Tooth Lily from Tooth Fairyland. I heard about your terrible situation and would like to invite you all to move to Tooth Fairyland. Every time she spoke, a small amount of glitter dust would sprinkle off. Indeed, Tooth Fairyland was a wonderful place. Whenever a tooth was lost, the bells rang in a unique way, leading the fairies to that particular child. Everyone finally settled down in the Tooth Fairy workshop and started preparing the Christmas presents on the wish list. But Santa's eyebrows suddenly frowned. Oh no! What's wrong, Santa? Did you forget the Wi-Fi password? Did you pee in your pants? Do you miss the North Pole that much? We miss our home in the North Pole too, said the rest of the elves. I wish humans would take better care of the earth, so that no other animals become homeless like us. Santa broke into tears. The, the, the earth is now too hot. Even the North Pole has me melted. We have no more snow for Christmas. Everyone was soon panicking and thinking of a way to solve this unexpected problem. Suddenly, Tooth Lily had an idea. Perhaps we can turn the teeth we have been collecting into snow. Sounds like an idea, but how? Snow is white. To start, we will need only pearly white teeth. After sorting through the collection, they only had two bags full. The rest of the teeth had shades of yellow or black. We need more white teeth. I can write to the children, like how they write to us for their Christmas presents. Dear young friends, this is Santa, and I'm inviting you to join our secret mission to save Christmas. Please keep your teeth as white as possible. Trust me, it's important. Tips Brush teeth before bed. Don't eat anything after you brush your teeth at night. Otherwise, brush again. Milk bottles are only for children under 3 years old. In return, I will keep your names off the naughty list. Ho ho ho! Santa from the Tooth Fairyland. All the children were excited to help Santa out. Soon, the Tooth Fairies had collected enough pearly white teeth. All the teeth were put in a pot to boil for 3 days and 3 nights. Okay, let's crush the teeth into smaller pieces. On Christmas Eve, the snow was put into a large bag and tied behind Santa's carriage. Tilt Lily made two holes in the bag so that as Santa rode, the snow would sprinkle it out along the way. Wait, we have another really huge.
huge problem. Santa suddenly screamed. What's the problem? The elves and tooth fairies panicked. The snow is made out of teeth. It won't melt. What should people do with it after winter? Tooth Lily responded with a calm smile. Don't you worry, Santa. We put a little spell on the snow. It will melt when winter ends. Ho, ho, ho! Come on, everyone! Let's make this the best Christmas ever! The end. Thank you so much for watching and reading along with me. Make sure to like, subscribe and share.